week for me and I have this baby here that will not let me make a video so hopefully he'll nurse while I do this. Um, but this week uh, we're talking about uh, the breastfeeding, um, the time cover, <sighs> time magazine cover, sorry I'm like uh, scatterbrained and exhausted. Um, the time magazine cover um, of the woman breastfeeding, I'm sure everyone has seen it, it's like a huge topic. Um, it's got uh, the younger looking mom on it um, with her three, almost four year old son standing up on a chair, um, nursing and looking directly into the camera while he's nursing and it says, are you mom enough? Talking about attachment parenting. <laughs> Other side. And um, personally, I absolutely loved the time cover. I think it's awesome. Uh, I have no problems with it. I think that maybe um, a lot of people got offended because it, you know it says are you mom enough so maybe moms that don't practice attachment parenting or bottle feed or you know whatever they may get offended by that because they may feel like yeah I'm mom enough I am mom enough to do it how I do or whatever you know so I can see where a lot of people get offended but looking through all of the comments and things on different blogs and posts about it it's completely disgusting I'm so disgusted with humanity like a lot of people are saying it's you know sick and wrong and it's the mother's fault and only for her benefit or whatever and I just think that's completely ignorant um, for one like I'm currently pregnant and nursing you know Rylan he he'll be two next month and <coughs> right now it's extremely painful to nurse him um, my you know nipples are sore it hurts to get him to latch on he's constantly wanting milk and wanting to nurse and it's exhausting I especially while pregnant and sometimes I'm really annoyed with it and it's sad to admit that but I'm really annoyed with it and so when people say it's like only the mother's benefit like I beg to differ because Rylan is the one begging me for it you know and of course I give it to him and I give it to him you know with a smile and open arms I don't reject him from what he wants but it's not only for my benefit so those comments are completely ignorant <laughs> I find it hilarious when people say that, like, oh, it's just the mother. Because, I mean, have you met a toddler um, that nurses, like, and how, you know, much they still depend on it, still want it and need it? Because anyone who, you know, has been around a toddler like that knows that it's pretty much all the toddler. Of course, I enjoy being able to provide that for him and um, to nurse him still, and I'm happy to nurse him. I hope that he continue because the benefits are amazing. They, you know, they just keep coming it's not like after a certain point the benefits are gone and my take on extended breastfeeding I think extended breastfeeding is beautiful and natural and normal and anyone who thinks differently is obviously not very educated um, the society we live in today all has this you know idea that only babies should breastfeed but I mean all around the world for centuries women have been breastfeeding their children and it's normal you know the immune system of a child isn't fully developed and ready, you know, on its own until age six. So, children who are breastfed until, you know, three, four, five, six have a much um, stronger immune system than kids who aren't. <laughs> Rylan, he's sweet. Um, what else did I have to say? Also, I watched an interview um, with the woman on the Time magazine cover and her toddler, and Dr. Sears was in it also. I think it was like, um, NBC 5 or Today Show or something, I don't know. I watched the interview and Dr. Sears said it best in my opinion. What he said was um, exactly how I feel. He said, you know, if you were stranded on an island with your child, attachment parenting is just what would come natural to you. Your natural motherly instincts would tell you to hold your baby all the time, don't put them down and leave them to cry, um, breastfeed them whenever they wanted, you know and that's just how it would be like 
If you were not away from civilization and society and doctors and medical professionals and people who have all these opinions about how you should raise your kid, if you were just left with nature to raise your kid, um, that's what you would do. You wouldn't set your baby down and leave them to cry. You, you know, your instincts would tell you that you need to pick that baby up and calm them and comfort them and make sure they know that um, everything's okay and that you know they can still trust you and. Um, you would breastfeed, you know, because you need that. Like, people rely so much on medicines and cow's milk and stuff, which is completely ridiculous. Like, people say that you need to stop feeding your kid breast milk, but give them milk from a cow? I don't understand. It just blows my mind. Um, I'm not really sure where I, like, want to go with this video, but that's kind of my take on the magazine cover. I think it's great. I think people should see that, you know? Um, I rarely have to nurse Rylan in public just because he's so distracted by the world and everything when we're out. He hardly ever wants to nurse, but sometimes, you know, when he's overtired or, you know, overstimulated, not feeling well, um, you know, he wants to nurse. And I nurse him in public, and I've gotten, you know, double takes, stares from people, um, you know, like, oh, isn't he big for that? Or, you know, I've had family, you know, comment and say that that's weird or gross and I don't care what they think I don't care what anyone thinks because my child is so healthy and so smart and becoming such an independent little being and I think that breastfeeding is really been amazing for him yeah I knew this would happen so um yeah I don't care what other people think about it I don't think that any mom should care what everyone thinks about breastfeeding your toddler um I'll breastfeed Rylan, you know, until he wants to stop. And if that's at six years old, that's at six years old. And I don't give a crap what anyone else thinks. Like, maybe I'll just move to an island to where no one can judge me. Um, but, I don't know. I, like I said, I think that magazine cover was great. And I'm really disappointed and disgusted with all the ignorant comments that people made on it. And even on my YouTube, you know, people have come and on my channel and criticized me and told me that I'm like sick and screwing my child up for breastfeeding him still and I just find that so ignorant like I I don't understand there's like no hope for humanity if that's how people are thinking <laughs> and I know everyone's like oh you have a right to your opinion blah 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 but I mean it's not really opinion it's fact like breastfeeding is healthy and for years and years and years people have been breastfeeding their children so it's just natural and normal, the way of life. Like, and when people say um, if they're old enough for, to ask for it, they should um, drink it out of a cup or whatever. Like, <laughs> that's hilarious. I, if I were to give Rylan milk in a cup, he would throw it and laugh at me. Like, I have left Rylan one night since he was born. Um, we went out one, the only time I've ever gone out, you know, and had an adult night. <laughs> um, I left him with a trusted friend and left him some breast milk to drink and coconut milk. He didn't want either of them. He did not want the breast milk from a cup. He just played with it. He didn't want it. Um, and that's how most toddlers are. They don't want it from the cup because it's not just about the milk. It's about the comfort of the breast. The, um, you know, knowing that you're still there to love them and comfort them and cuddle them and reassure them and everything so I've rambled on a bit hopefully you get my point my point is I love the Time magazine cover I do think that the image is a bit strange because normally your toddler doesn't nurse on a chair like that but honestly you know I've been sitting in a chair and Rylan's come up nursed just standing up like that before so it's not too weird um, not on a chair but he's nursed standing up like that before um, I guess they wanted that shock value. They wanted people to be like, whoa, you know, and people did. They got a huge reaction out of it. Um, but like I said, I think it's great. I think people should, you know, educate themselves on the benefits of breastfeeding before bashing a woman who breastfeeds their toddler. Um, I guess that's all I have to say for nine minutes now, so I'll be quiet. But, um... Yeah, I'd love to hear your, you know, feedback, comments, um, hopefully no hateful comments telling me I'm a horrible mom or I'm screwing my kid up, because that's just ignorant. You're ignorant if you're going to say that to me. Um, but anyway, I'll talk to you next time, so bye!